Davids and I both saw the the following we were gathering, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna walk away from Tom Ford. New York City. So check it out, new episode of Leaders Create Leaders, and we're gonna be meeting with two amazing entrepreneurs, Alex Muzica and Davidson Ferrer. Hi, I'm David Petit Ferrer. I'm Alex Muzica. And we're the co-founders of Muzica Ferrer. Myself and Alex met in the beginning of 2012, and I was very impressed with Alex, you know, following on Instagram, he had about 60,000 followers, Daily Style Battle, which was actually one of the most trending um, hashtags still to this day. You know, he grew a huge following on Instagram. Everybody liked his style, and I thought the combination of both of us working together could create a really dynamic team. The, the beginning was, you know, just us being, you know, guys taking pictures of ourselves in the mirror, selfies and, you know, outfits, you know, what you wore and myself before I went to work in the office. I was in real estate, I took a picture of you know, my outfit. Then it started being like girls are like adding their boyfriends on our pictures and saying, I would love for you to get this outfit, you know, and that's literally when the light bulb went off and like, you know, this dream is definitely coming true. It's, it's a possibility to make this happen. People want to wear what we're wearing, so why not make our own thing? That's where we saw not just the dollar sign, but the fact that our business would work. Me and Alex were able to really dissect Instagram and figure out how to monetize and, you know, materialize money out of it. Okay, they end up finding their passion, right, for luxury fashion. Both built up their own personal brands, grew up to over 100,000 followers on each, were posting regularly about fashion, and then they grew a passion for wanting to start their own brand. I mean, fashion was always something that both of him and I were obsessed with. And uh, we figured that why not collab and be on the same team and, and start our own brand. But what really excites me is as they found their passion for, and they started building their brands, instead of looking at each other as competition, they collaborated. They got in touch with each other. And I flew down to Miami, met Alex. And, you know, it was, from then on, it was just, you know, a marriage that, you know, is still going on today. We chatted, uh, went pretty quick. The movement was pretty quick. We got together and started the brand Musica Frere. First of all, Alex actually quit his job at Tom Ford. He was one of the top guys at Tom Ford in Miami, left Tom Ford to, to take a risk about starting his own company. So we're gonna see what it took for him to be able to do that. Tom Ford approached me and said, uh, we heard you're starting a brand. They want you to shut down the, the social media. Within an instant, I saw like everything flash. I'm like, I took all this time to get this following and these people want me to erase it right away. And I, in my head, it was like an instant decision. I'm like, making it in business, it's all about making decisions. Like, right or wrong, you gotta make a decision. And now I think that was my first biggest decision I've ever made in my life. I was like, that was it. I walked out and never looked back, not even one second. Within a week, I moved to New York. I'm an angel investor. I met these guys and I knew it after I met them. I saw the fire in their eyes and the fact that they had what it take to stay consistent and they had something special about them that was gonna be different, different about the other brands out there, okay? And how they were also leveraging content marketing on social media as a way to really get to their target demographic. So I invested into those guys. Social media is so powerful because only you can put your picture out. Only you could take it at a certain angle with a certain filter or a certain, or even the way you dress. So you're able to brand yourself exactly the way you want to brand it. So Instagram is definitely a tool that we've taught ourselves to really use as a, as a outlet to reach clients everywhere. We don't pay for it, it's free. So it's definitely a, a new era of advertising. David and I figured out the power of propaganda, the, the power of uh, showing men's fashion in, from our eyes and, and filtering it literally through our eyes. You know, we started a very good idea of doing exclusive jackets. Uh, you know, the first one was a black pebbled um, brocade that Scott just actually wore on his birthday and you know, that sold out in about you know, a week. Uh, the second one we did was a nice croc, red croc brocade that Nas wore uh, when he was performing for Dave Chappelle's show that got on complex as well. Most importantly, the lifestyle. How these guys are building a lifestyle around their, around their brand. Because at the end of the day, people are not going to just buy your product. They're going to buy what your product stands for and the lifestyle around it. 
you know, create trends and not follow them, that's how you become a brand. You know, we're not looking here to copy anyone else. We're looking to perfect what other people are doing and make it our own. You, know, you don't want to ever be a brand that, okay, I saw him do it. You want to be like, damn, they did it first. So that's what we're looking to build. You know, we created a trend with the jogger sweats. Now we see it in H&M, you know, the croc brocade, you know, John Barbados rock, you know, did that from us. So there's a lot of things that we've done now that uh, we feel proud of. You know, we've been ripped off. You know, I think you are successful once you see your ideas being taken away. Uh, these guys are really, really doing it. And uh, I'm super proud to be a part of it. Let's go and meet up with Alex and Davidson in the Hamptons. Our customer is, you know, the confident gentleman you know, who wants to stand out and not fit in. You know, we want to make clothing that uh, is classic and timeless, but also eye-catching and something that you could actually, you know, someone's going to stop and say, hey, where'd you get that? You know, that's the whole goal. Music for a man is confident and not too scared to, you know, step out on the edge and be bold. We perfected suits. Like, we've perfected these luxury, beautiful, fitting, aggressive suits. Not even, we're not only creating a brand in clothing as a lifestyle, we're also doing events in different cities and different countries to where people just want to be a part of the event. That's something that we are able to be known for. I right, just want to thank everybody for coming out and helping, um, especially Tuesday, um, everyone that's here. And I just want to, you know, let's execute this properly. Let's kick it off. Yeah, woo, woo. All right. Woo. but to be able to have them all, once you come to an event that you throw and get a bunch of powerful people in one room, like that's an amazing feat. And seeing everybody having a good time and wanting to be a part of Music Affair, like that's a powerful thing. That's something to take in for a couple of minutes. It's just like an amazing thing to see everybody come together. Three years in the business, you know, we've accumulated a client list that is equivalent to every other brand that we compete against. Tom Ford, uh, Zinnia, you know, Prada. We have guys like Kevin Hart, Lewis Hamilton, Super Bowl champions Joe Flacco, Daryl Revis that all pay for our clothing, not giving anything for free. You know, we built a business that, you know, the guys respect our style that they want to actually pay. And we want to grow that business. You know, we actually just locked in two exclusive contracts for eyewear and fragrance, and we're hopefully working on to do footwear, accessories, you know, so many other broad you know avenues of business that we feel that we're using our names and our image that we can brand and monetize you know, the whole thing is that you know Alex is, is young I'm young you know we're both diverse brands you know and I feel in the common age of business you know we want to show you guys in the industry that you don't need to have a brand you know for 50 years to build our business you know, it's been two and a half years and we're doing everything that every other brand is doing if not better This is really like maybe one of the moments I was thinking back that we did something great or wow this went this went off went to plan was like you know a really small group out from New York City to this huge fashion show in, in Moscow where we were the only American brand invited and everybody wanted to see this American brand and what they're all about and oh it must be glitz and glamorous coming from New York City but they they never knew you know us packing our crappy suitcases and stuff filled with suits and and what we pulled off was incredible sitting back and watching the TV screen of our line, a beautiful line going up and down the wrong way, like that was a satisfying moment in my life. It's bespoke luxury, like everything we do, Music Affair is, I feel like a little more edgy or aggressive than any, any other luxury brand out there. Uh, we've taken risks that other brands haven't taken, I feel like. We live in the most opportunist time ever in the world in history. I think people take it for granted. You know, a lot has happened, you know, over the past 10 years. And it's opened up so many doors for us, the way we communicate, different technology, um, just, you know, so much. And it's just like, take advantage of it. Stop wasting time. Stop making excuses. Stop, you know, judging, uh, you know, and taking opinions from all your friends. And start holding yourself accountable. Look yourself in the mirror. 
Take some time to yourself. Really understand your thoughts. What is your why? What are you looking for in life? And how are you going to get there? Envision it and think it through. Like, where do I want to be in five years, in 10 years? And reverse engineer that. You know, how are you going to really truly get there? You're going to really think through how you're going to make a change in your life. The piece of advice I'll give any entrepreneur out there is to follow your dreams. You know, adversity is something that's going to make you stronger and better. You know, don't get discouraged by the haters who tell you you can't do what you have to do. You know, if I'm not there, I'm sure that you know he can hold it down. If he's not there, he, he trusts me that I can hold it down. So I think being a leader is something that you guys both have to believe in each other and not only yourself because you, know, you build it together and that's how it stays and that's how you grow the businesses. Teamwork makes the dream work. So. But one thing I want to let people know is like this is we're just in, personally me speaking for myself this we haven't done anything yet we're just getting started.